Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you a super easy way to get that zoom in transition we all love. So here it is and let's get into it. First I'm going to show you the zoom in transition. So what you want to have is your two clips. The first clip and the clip you're zooming to. Here's my first clip, I got a nice sunrise. And then we got this couple at the beach. What we're gonna do is make an adjustment layer. Yep. And you're gonna drag it onto your timeline. And you want it to last five frames. There we go. And drag that to the end. Now you're gonna press Alt and right arrow to move it over one frame. You want the adjustment layer hanging over one frame onto your next cut. Okay, what you're going to do is go one frame before the cut. You're going to go to effects, effects. You're going to type in lens distortion, get rid of these guys. And you're going to drag lens distortion on there, okay? And next what you're going to do is you're going to go to effect controls. You're going to set a keyframe on the curvature, zoom in. So it's going to kind of curve the edges of the frame and give you that nice zoom effect. Now I don't go too far with this. I would say somewhere around minus 70. Let's do minus 70 is a good place. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to go to the beginning of the adjustment layer, a couple frames before. You want to revert that back to zero and you want to go to the end and you want to also revert that back to zero. Okay. So now you got three keyframes. And let's watch that through. Boom! You get your zoom in in one step, pretty much. One effect, you don't have to do any tiling, you don't have to do any mirroring. Next, I'm gonna show you the zoom out technique. So we're gonna to go to our zoom out. We pretty much have the same clips. We have the couple at the beach, but now we're going back and coming out of the beach, okay? So what I want you to do is drag that adjustment layer Okay, and this time it's going to last the length of the first clip, and it's going to go one frame after the cut. Okay. All right, so you got your adjustment layer. Now we're going to do is you're going to drag lens distortion like we did before, go all the way down, drag it on. Okay. Now you're going to go one frame before the cut. One frame before, you're going to increase the lens distortion so it pushes it outward. I'd say somewhere around 50 is probably good. Set a keyframe. Two after, so at the end, revert it back to zero. And then go three or four before the cut. One, two, three, four. And back to zero. So you have the zoom out, but it looks terrible because you can see the edges. That's no good. We don't want that. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to transform, transform, drag that on, and you're going to up the scale until you can't see the edges anymore. You want to go to the place where it's the biggest and boom. Let's watch this through. Cup out the beach and zoom out. All right. One more time. Boom. All right, I, I kind of want to make that a little quicker. So you just go in here, you go to your zoom keyframes, right there. Perfect. All right, so there you go. Two quick and easy zoom transitions for you to use. Very simple. Only two effects are required, one in the zoom in and two in the zoom out. So. Um, this should be a quick one for you to do if you're on a tight deadline or a tight schedule and don't have time to go through the whole tiling and all that, all that stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out and uh, make some great videos. Thanks.